hello beautiful people it's your girl pretty choice and you're welcome to my channel how are you all doing i hope you all are doing well so guys in today's video we're going to be talking about black women and black men reacting to asian men dating black women so guys this whole thing is going all over tiktok so guys like seriously there are also other videos that are related to asia women and asia men and black men and black women so guys i put them together for you guys and yesterday i also put part one of of this video so here's the part two for you guys so guys i will review more details about this video i will just leave you guys to enjoy the show you know and don't forget to like share subscribe keep watching me drop your comment down below let me know what you think about this video so guys without further review i will see you all in my next one bye Don't mind how I look, but I almost agree with bro. I thought he said Asian men and black men belong together. What is he talking about? Y'all do this shit once a month. Give it a rest. I'm tired. Stop using black women for clout. Mm -hmm. Smash. Oh my god. Like, why do black women... Sorry, no offense. But why do black women... Just come to Toronto, Canada. There's a plethora of them for you to choose from. Welcome, bienvenue. Winner, Gagnon. Bonjour. For once, I think it's most likely to be their parents. For two, is how they grew up and where they grew up with. For three, it's just the references of people, everyone different. I love black women and yeah. Not for real though, is it true? No, I need to know the answer. Is it true? Do y'all like chocolate? Do y'all like do y'all like chocolate? Do okay, y'all like chocolate? Cause I'm I'm just making sure before I do this. You know, I I didn't want to use a filter or anything like that. So y'all think I'm catfishing you? This how I look. This is what you get. What you get is what you see. What you see is definitely what you get. But anyways, I'm in the Bay Area. I'm in California, y'all. Um, if there's any Asians out there who who likes chocolate, and you may think that you're too afraid to come up to us because you think we don't like you, we love you. We 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 fucking love y'all. Um, yeah. Um, so if y'all like chocolate, you know sometimes I could be a little bitter, but that just means I'm dark chocolate. I'm still sweet all over. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. Uh, is it true? I need to know. I need to know because I almost gave up hope. Somebody answer me, please. Please answer me now. cool that you want an Asian wife uh that's fetishism as well I mean if you're not an Asian man how many times you seen this type of couple in the streets I'll wait Exactly, okay? They are doing this for attention, and some of y'all are falling for it. Some of y'all are falling for it. And then, and then you got to think, uh, if this is true, what's the big deal? Okay. What you need to understand about women in developing nations that are educated and that are well off, they are not going to want to date a passport bro that does not have a lot of money. Wealthy women in developing nations are what we call crazy uber rich. They are so well off that you could not even compare. Your dinky life in America would be a massive downgrade. So when people are saying, oh, these countries have a high standard of living, 
the wealthy folks in those countries, such as my motherland, China, for instance, is a wonderfully nice place to live. If you have education, if you have the means, my cousin in China lives extremely well, better than most people I know in America. So people who have it made in their home countries have it made. They are not interested in dating a passport bro who literally is unable to afford his life in America and is going to a developing nation just to take advantage of currency arbitrage. Wealthy, successful women with means that come from good families with a lot of money do not want to date you. So then what happens? What happens is the passport bros self-select. And so when I'm saying they're going after destitute women in destitute countries, what I'm saying is they're going to developing nations to the women who are coming from not having means. And if the women don't have means, then all of a sudden the green card looks kind of interesting. For the women with means, the green card is nothing. They're not interested. They have a better quality of life staying home. So again, you must understand that women who are doing well in their developing nations do not want you there. They don't want you there. They don't want you to harass their less fortunate sisters. And nobody is excited about meeting somebody who literally said, I cannot make it in this country. And even the ones that can make it in this country, the ones that are really, really well off and can't seem to find a good woman in, out of a 330 million population, those people tend to have even if they have a lot of money, tend to have massive personality flaws, massive personality character flaws. I know because I've dated quite a few wealthy people and I'm like, oh, like I would not put up with this shit for any amount of money. So again, they have to go to areas and locations where people are willing to deal with it. So it is exactly what the passport bros want. And it is an exchange, an exchange of a quid pro quo. It is, I have something you want. It's either money or a green card or immigration. And you have something I want, which is sex, good looks, uh, ability to clean my house and cook for me. Just tell it as it is, guys. One of my mutuals recently made a really good point talking about how white women are resentful of women of color because of how fetishized we are. So I want to unpack that a little bit. I think it's common with black women and Asian women in particular. They think us being fetishized is some kind of compliment. And now we have an epidemic of race fishers who are trying to emulate our features to seem more desirable to the white male gaze. And the worst part is they will be seen as more desirable because men love to see the features of women of color on white women. I also think that's why a lot of white women have been accusing actual Asian people and black people of race baiting because they're jealous of the features that we have naturally and they know accusing someone of race baiting is a way to get them dogpiled easily on this app. The jealousy is literally eating them alive. Did you know that statistically speaking, black women and Asian men are among the least desirable groups on online dating? Now, when I first learned of this as a black woman, I was completely outraged. And of course, I have my own thoughts as to why this is, but I want to hear from you. Why do you think this is? And feel free to speak up, even if you're not a black woman or an Asian man. And by the way, this is going to be the first part in a brand new series that I'm going to be doing called Dating as a Black Woman, where I, as a dating coach, spend some time specifically addressing the needs of black women in the modern dating space. So I'm a server and I'm OC excited right now because the amount of Asian men and black women who've been coming here, I'm literally all for it. Are you all for it? All for it. I'm all for it. Like this is this trend, I'm loving it. This this is it. The way they freaking interact with each other is so cute. Like I cannot bro, like and I just I just need a moment. I need a moment. And usually the Asian men are like either like super super flavored like you know they have a lot of seasoning or like they're all like shy and so cute and like I'm, I'm I, it's just like the best thing ever like period Asian men and black women are top tier top tier quote me quote me these Asian women African women Hispanic women Philippine who hurt you bro <laughs> Cause you sound real hurt and angry that somebody clapped back at you. You're literally sitting here on a public platform 
defending women who are not the same race as you while throwing your own race under the bus. We are not the first ones who started saying that those women were poor and stupid. Y'all were saying that in your YouTube videos in the comment section. It was a whole bunch of y'all saying it. So we we took it and made content out of it. And now y'all mad because y'all getting exposed. Okay. And on top of that, the women governments that are in those countries are kicking y'all asses out. So it must be some truth to it if you get another country's government kicking your ass out because they know you on some bullshit trying to fuck over their women and take advantage. Just deal with it. And this is the result of when Asian men and black women get together or Asian women and black men, you get Blasians like me.